This video is going to show you how to install Loom on your computer. Note that I'm on a MacBook right now, so for those of you that are on a PC, you will need to install Loom using the Chrome extension. I've opened up self-service and I searched for Loom and then I clicked install and now I am waiting for it to finish installing. All right, it's done. I'm gonna press the F4 key on my keyboard and then look at all the different applications that I have installed. I have one here that's called Loom. I'll click on that and open it up. From there, you'll notice that a little icon popped up here. It has the same logo as you see in self-service. All right, once Loom is opening up, you'll see it in the menu bar along the top of your screen. If you click on that icon, you'll sign in with Google. Once you're done signing in, it is going to be asking for a number of different permissions from your computer. So you can kind of skip through these first few things where it says next, you can click on it. And then it'll get to a spot where it's gonna ask for access to your camera. Make sure you hit okay, and then click next. Then you're going to give access to your microphone. So make sure you hit allow for that. And then it's going to be launching um, system preferences for you. So you'll notice that pop up in the middle of the screen and select open system preferences. From there, it's going to be ask, asking you for a couple of permissions and you are going to have to quit out of using Loom. Um, you will want to make sure that you give it access to do screen recording specifically. So it's gonna ask you to quit out of it a couple times and then you should be able to launch the application and use it. If this does not work, please submit a help desk ticket so somebody can help you get through this process. Now that we have Loom installed, let's get to the good stuff. You'll notice that a little video pops up in the corner that you can actually move around the screen if you would like. You can also choose to only record your screen or you can only choose your webcam. So it's up to you on what you want to do there. One pro tip is that whenever you can include your face, as much as some people really don't want to do it, um, it can be really helpful for students to hear and see you. Um, and it, it really makes, it humanizes the idea of doing online learning. So if you can use your screen and cam, that might be a recommendation we have for you. <clears throat> then you have some options here. You can record your full screen, a window, um, etc. You have a lot of options there. You can um, choose to mute your microphone if you don't think you need it. You can choose um, to up the resolution of the video that you're recording if you would like. 720p is probably sufficient for most purposes. And then what you're going to do is you're going to hit start recording. From there, you can create your video and your students will be able to view it once you hit this um, stop recording button over here. Um, it does have a feature where you can use this to draw as well. So you may want to, to use this and you can draw with your mouse and trackpad. And then when I'm all done, I'm going to hit this button here. It should open up Google Chrome. It will create this video for you and it uploads it to a, um, a website that allows you to share it very easily. So I can copy this link and anyone that has that link can view my video and, and watch it very, um, very easily. It doesn't require you to upload it to YouTube or anything like that. Um, or to Canvas, you simply just copy that link. If you would prefer to embed this video in Canvas, you can do that too by hitting the share button and then you um, can do the embed code right here and it already copies that code for you. You simply go into Canvas, go into your HTML editor and paste it in. You can also, if you would like to do some more advanced editing, you can download your video as an MP4 file 
You've got some other options in Loom as well that are pretty neat. Um, so if students are playing this back, they can change the speed that it's playing back. They can give little emoji reactions to your video if, they, if you want. You can um, password protect your video if you would like only certain people to be able to view it. Um, so just a lot of different options there. One other thing you may want to do is um, you can click here and rename your video. And then when you're all done, again, copy that link and get it to whoever, whoever needs it. So that is Loom in a nutshell.